Hello everyone. Welcome to our deep dive into Git Flow, a popular branching model for Git. Today, we'll explore what Git Flow is, its key characteristics, and how it differs from another popular approach, trunk-based development. Git Flow is a branching model that provides a robust framework for managing software development. It introduces a structured approach to branching, which makes collaboration easier and ensures that your code base remains stable and organized. Git Flow is characterized by the presence of two main branches, Master and Develop. The master branch represents the official project history, while the develop branch serves as an integration branch for features. Additional branches such as feature, release, and hotfix are used to manage various aspects of the development process. Now, let's compare Git flow to trunk-based development. While Git flow uses long-lived branches with larger commits, trunk-based development favors short-lived branches with fewer commits. In Git Flow, developers create feature branches for every new feature and merge them back into the main trunk. On the other hand, all developers work on the main branch in trunk-based development. One of the advantages of Git Flow is its structure, which makes it suitable for larger teams and projects where features need to be developed separately before merging. It also allows for parallel development since multiple feature branches can exist simultaneously. Trunk-based development, however, reduces merge conflicts and accelerates software delivery. It's particularly effective when you need a single source of truth with fewer branches. This model works best in continuous integration environments where code is deployed frequently. In conclusion, whether you choose Git flow or trunk-based development largely depends on your project requirements, team size, and deployment frequency. Both models have their strengths and are suited to different scenarios. Understanding these differences can help you select the most appropriate model for your project. If you found this video informative, please remember to subscribe to our channel for more insights into software development practices. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.